All right, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast. This forecast is for the 14th through the 20th. We're going to get right into this and start with your temperatures. You see they're slightly above average temperatures in all those kind of yellowish, yellowish orange areas extending from Washington down to California all the way through to Texas and then through to Alabama as well. So that whole southeastern area, uh, that south central United States, and that entire west coast area is going to consist of kind of spotty above average temperatures. And I'm just going to even it out at slightly above average temperatures. Uh, and then we have our slightly below average temperatures in your kind of turquoise uh, light, light blue color there. And then you have your medium shade of blue. That's where we're going to be seeing some below average conditions. Now, New England's kind of going to see below average conditions the entire time or slightly below average. Whereas the north central United States, the Dakotas, and then Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, those areas are going to kind of be warm or average in the first few days. And then right towards the end of the week, I expect a lot of cold shots. They're very, very far below normal temperatures. It's going to get very cold very fast there at the end. And you'll know when it's there. Uh, and it's going to end up averaging out at below average. Not extremely below average, but below average. All right, let's move on to precipitation. Not a lot happening for the eastern United States uh, in either direction. Can't really say it'll be below average or above average anywhere there. But the western United States is pretty clear. Northwestern United States is going to be kind of dry, slightly dry. You'll get some precipitation, but it's not going to be uh, overly dry or overly wet. Now, for California, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona, that is, uh, in that lighter shade of blue, we have our slightly above average precipitation, and then you see those darker greens towards the coast of California. Again, really good news. I think this is our second week in a row of conditions quite like this. So more good news for California as we have um, a lot of precipitation coming in. And you can see even near San Francisco, uh, that entire northern coast of California, far above average precipitation as there's going to be persistent storms hitting the coast of California. Good news for you guys long term. Kind of bad news short term is that can lead to a lot of problems but in the long run it's worth it in the end anyway let's look at your special note portion of the video uh, we have that storminess up against California and Nevada and portions of southern Oregon that's gonna be your first special note too many storms to mention individually just like last week but nevertheless it'll be very stormy and far above average precipitation now, special note number two, we have a snowstorm possible, and this is more of a minor snowstorm. I don't expect anything too major out of this one, uh, and this, is, again, is going to be like 17th through 19th, uh, and it's going to it's going to start right around uh, Kansas, Nebraska area, Oklahoma area, and it's going to move its way eastward and then kind of move up the coast and probably strengthen at that point, but it's, it's really hard to say. Looks like a weaker snowstorm possible. This one's not as definite as the next one that I'm about to show you, which is special note number three, and this one looks very major. Not to be confused with the one before it, this one is going to be the 18th through the 20th, and it's going to follow up that possible one, uh, special note two. This one's going to start more towards Idaho and Montana, Wyoming area, and it's going to move its way southeast, and then it's going to kind of head towards the coast, uh, probably the coast of North Carolina. And this could be a little bit on the more northern edge, too. They've trended at different things. This could hit more of the uh, Chicago area. You could even move this a little bit further north. I think the blue line I should have extended further north. Uh, but this could be anywhere within that blue range. And it's going to move its way east and move off the coast at some point. And this could be our next major, major east coast snowstorm, just like we've had in the last few uh, few days with Winter Storm Gia, I believe is how you pronounce it. We had that storm, and this one might be quite similar in, as far as intensity. But I think this one will bring a lot more snow to the east coast, it looks like, as of right now. We have a lot of signals pointing towards that. Anyway, guys, that's it for this weekly video. It's kind of going to be a quiet week as far as storms go, besides California, but besides that, uh, maybe two storms within this week. Going to be kind of quiet, but we're starting to get really cold in the east here, guys. Really good news. Could get even colder after this. So I'll see you guys in the next weekly forecast. I'll see you guys later. Have a great week.